Hi, I'm Hope and I will be presenting my manifesto for the role of a member of Youth Parliament. So why am I suitable for the role? The most important reason why I am suitable for the role of a member of Youth Parliament is because I care about young people's voices. Despite not being voters, for the UK's young people to feel seen in policies, for their government to act upon their views instead of making presumptions about what is best for them, is imperative and from my experience is an immense desire amongst young people. Last year, I co-ran an organisation whose aim was to create a place for young people's voices to be heard. We had group chats and forums online where discussions about the political decisions being made on our future took place, as well as posting on social media to share the opinions and ideas of young people. So I can successfully use social media as a tool to listen to and express young people's views. I am also a proficient communicator and would use these skills to articulate young people's views to councillors or MPs, persuasively explaining why they should act on the views expressed. What is important to me? I believe that it is not enough for just some of us to prosper and that the social divide between those with different wealth statuses, religions, races, sexualities, genders, disabilities and more poses an enormous hindrance to our society. Instead, I believe in the fundamental idea that not despite, but because of our differences, we are a great community of individuals, all participating to improve our society. It is including each other in our politics and policies when we thrive most as a nation. As a member of Youth Parliament, I would prioritise preserving this belief by listening to a range of young people about their desires and needs from our government. And I would bring carefully formulated practical solutions to councillors or MPs explaining how crucial they are. For example, ensuring all schools facilities are accessible to disabled people or implementing adequate teacher training in topics of race, mental health and disabilities in all schools to ensure teachers have a sufficient understanding of these topics and hence can treat students appropriately. My aims if I are a member of Youth Parliament. As well as what I have previously mentioned, if I were a member of Youth Parliament, my aims would include acting on the three most important issues for young people, illustrated by the Make Your Mark campaign 2020. These were mental health, free universities and plastic pollution. If I were a member of Youth Parliament, I would communicate with an abundance of young people in Surrey, asking them what solutions and practical changes they would like to see related to these issues. I would then suggest these ideas to councillors and MPs working hard to ensure there are sufficient solutions to these issues. After such a difficult period of loss as a nation, it is vital for us to have the most effective period of recovery. And as a member of Youth Parliament, I would work with local councillors and MPs to ensure that young people are adequate, adequately included in that plan. Overall, my aims as a member of Youth Parliament would be to regularly communicate with many young people in Surrey, listening to their desires and ideas. I believe that listening to and including young people in UK politics is the best way to empower young people to learn about politics and how it is affecting their future. Young people deserve to feel heard in the UK politics. And as a member of Youth Parliament, I will strive to ensure that they are. Thank you.